beautiful blistering moment right now here in the very heart of London. It's the sort of thing that might want to make you well, spend some cash. I know, shock horror, <laughs> sit down, Neil, opening the wallet, last dumped in 1997. Yeah, well, you know, it's like that old joke, isn't it? When they say, you know, well, of course I like to spend cash. And then you open it and realize that your notes have got King George on them. I know, well, there's nothing wrong in that. There was some money on a serious note. Cash, as we often say, is king. But the thing I wanted to really, on a more serious note, alert a lot of our chums, our friends here on the show, is a latest scam. And maybe this has already happened to you around the world. It's really building over here in London and, of course, across the United Kingdom. But it's one I wanted, as I say, to point out because you've got to be very careful. It's very easy the way they're doing this. Let me explain. Hi, good to see you. Thank you so much. Let's have a lovely wave. We are in the beautiful King's Cross today. Hope you're all keeping well, whatever you're doing. And as I say, you know, they talk about cash is king. And there's a lot of things to be said for cash, isn't there? There was a story the other day about how one of the leading supermarkets over here uh, in the United Kingdom are basically phasing out, you know, paying for cash at the self-service tools. At this rate, you might be able to sort of help it on stack the shelves if you want to get your own food. What else is there to strip away? Not allowed a bag. You're virtually thrown into a prison cell if you walk off with one without actually paying for it by mistake even though you figure you've already scanned it you get the picture but this is the latest ruse now you know when you pay by a credit card right and you notice how you're supposed to scan it across that card reader that sort of stuff well a lot of employees have been buying their own scanners their own card readers and this is particularly prevalent in a lot of coffee shops and what they do is say if you've ordered a coffee juice sandwich that sort of stuff you naturally pay what's happening is your money then goes into their own personal account not the brand say Costa Coffee Starbucks whatever it is around the world you know the sort of thing and the reason why they're getting caught out is because they've been doubling up the payments and you'll realize when you get back or check online that maybe you've paid 20 pounds for two coffees that sort of stuff now a lot of them are being caught out but knowing how lax crime is right now and also fraud and that sort of stuff and people dealing with it really it's up to you to be very very careful now one tip I can give you that was passed on to me and I think this is a very good idea if you've got a credit card and you know you say you like to meet your friend once a week for a cup of tea somewhere that sort of stuff just get a new credit card and put a minimum amount on there like say 20 pounds 20 dollars whatever it is and just only use that when you're out because obviously if you lose that it's not as big as if they tap in to your main account sorry to get serious sorry to bore you and all this sort of stuff but it really is something that's creeping up and as everybody knows I like to share these stories with the chums simply because you know they don't tell us you know I literally found that by speaking to somebody in the British Metropolitan Police and it's one that's actually taken off to such a point that they don't know what to do because I didn't know this maybe you do you could actually buy the card readers online yourself you can set them up and suddenly become a paymaster clever idea when you think if you are working in these things you know as a way of ripping off the boss but eventually of course you always get caught and why should it be you and me obviously once again being ripped off simply by going about our business going back to the original start of this video because they don't want to pay or allow to take cash as ever look out for yourselves and truly think twice before using your main credit card it could cost you more than you originally thought for that coffee Neil Sean, King's Cross, London.